Welcome back to Let's Play Pino B. In the last episode, we did stages 7 through 10. And in this episode, we're going to be doing stages 11 through 13. Which is Windy Valley. Now, if you thought the underground prison was bad, and by bad I mean just convoluted, then you're in luck because this place is easier. But there's a bit of an issue. It's very big and open. Take that however you will. It's very big and open. Meaning, we have to do a lot more exploring. See, this is an underground prison. You have walls. That's okay. Uh, with Windy Valley, no, you just have a lot of propellers and a lot of open space to explore, which is kind of a curse. More so than a curse than a blessing. Because you're, the directional are like, hey, you should go here, you should go here. But I need to go everywhere. Because there's things I have to do. Anywho, this is the golden enemy. I actually remember this one. Uh, the only things I don't remember, though, are if are there any switches I need... Yep, there's that. I forgot. There's these two crickets I need to actually save. I don't think there's any switches in this level, but there are two crickets. And... I strongly suggest that if you ever get this game and play it, you should, if you get to this portion, you should really take a look at the map. Because backtracking in something like this, oh boy, not fun, not fun at all. Especially with the way the propellers are. Anyway, for these crickets, just hit the enemies that are bugging these darn crickets, and you're good to go. But yeah, the propellers are the worst part about this. Because they send you everywhere in bubbles, and if you don't have dash, things can get a little... A little messy, for what it's worth. I already have this. How am I doing on items? I didn't actually check last time, did I? If, I'm any, if I need to throw anything out. Orange heart I can throw out. Orange three heart. So I'm not gonna need that. But I'm very close to some more bingos if I get a blue. Blue hearts. No! Okay, thank goodness. But yep, we've got that taken care of, and we're gonna head to the end of the level. Nothing much else really to explore, honestly. It's just, it's literally most of this, which kind of leads to like bland level design. Which is kind of a complaint that Pina B gets, is that it has very bland level design, and I don't think that's entirely the case. Ah! I don't think that's entirely the case, it's just... I feel like they could have done a little bit better with how they made things. July 10th, I beat, I beat up some guys who were capturing the insect kids. The kids thought I came to save them. Ha! I just wanted to beat someone up. I beat the golden enemy today, and I slowed down the enemy's evolution. Pino B, come on now, you are really saving them. So it's not necessarily bad level design, it's just... There's not really much of a reward from exploring the whole area, you know? Because... Yeah, there's the golden enemy, there's switches, and other fun stuff, but beyond that, like... I really don't have any other purpose of looking around. Like, once I found the golden enemy, that's it. There's this stone door here, and unlike normal doors, they don't work the same way as normal doors. You need a switch of sorts, if I can find it, if it's even on this level. There's a door there that takes... I think you're at the... I think it's right there. There's also cannons in this level, and it's just, oh, goodness, this place, this is, this is huge. I want to show off as much as I can without it being too boring, which with Pino B is... Albeitly a bit hard. One, that being said, though, I'm really glad that the golden enemies have been pretty much near the beginning of the level. Because I, it's just, you can hear it where in my voice, where it's just, you don't really want to explore. But you do. It's like, I would love to walk around these places and just see more. If I kind of had an incentive to. You know? 
That being said, if I was casually playing this and not really for a let's play, which I have before, of course I would take my time and just look around, maybe see what different pathways lead me to where. After, say, I found uh, a flower seed or a switch that I need to hit. Remember, propellers do not refill your dash, so if you don't have one, which I recommend you do, you're <laughs> gonna be in for a little bit of a wild ride. Let's see, do I go up or do I go down? Because down takes me to the stone door, which takes me to all of this hollow blue. Door there. If that is an area we can go to, but it doesn't really serve a purpose. That's a checkpoint. I know where that is. The exit's right there. I could go up or I could go down, and part of me wants to go up. If I even can. <laughs> Whee. That being said, the dash mechanic makes this so nice in terms of aerial combat. I cannot say anything bad about the dash mechanic, really. It's very fair, it's very controllable. If I mess up, it's because of me. It's like, if the dash messes up, it's because of me, is what I wanted to say. I came and shot off the top pathway. Where even am I? I think I went down on accident, didn't I? Um... Yeah, that can just shoots you right back down. I think the next level is actually- I would be to the end on accident. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just end it here. It's not that I hate it, it's just, I need I need more of an incentive to actually show it off. But this just becomes very boring for you guys to sit there and just watch me explore a level for no apparent reason. July 17th, the wind here is very strong. This has to be the windy valley that Cricket was talking about before. I beat the goal enemy today and I slowed the enemy's revolution. So I looked at that sound thing where it's like the music just cuts off and stops. I can't fix that. I don't know what's really going on, if it's my game or if it's me. Oh! We're in Windy Valley 3. Now, Pino Bee, as I've said before, is a mechanical bee. Can I, I... So, what does that mean? Well, you know how water hurts you? So does rain, and I want to see where it is. I want to say this now. Rain is bad. Rain is very bad. Gugh. Got where the golden enemy is too. It's all about that golden enemy. I already have this. Okay, good. Wee wee wee. Another complaint that Pinabi gets is that it has a very limited soundtrack, which, yeah, it does, but it's still very good for how limited it is. And it sounds a lot better on a PS1 than a Game Boy, but it's not like the worst on a Game Boy. It still sounds pretty good. Just not great. That's a Game Boy, so. Game Boy Advance, to say the least, so take it as you will with other Game Boy games and how they used, how they sounded. Where is the enemy again? I can't remember. I apologize for having to look at the map so much. This is literally how you get around this game. I feel like if there was a hotkey, like push in on the, the left stick or some other hotkey. Oh wait, PS1 didn't have a control stick, did it? Hmm. I don't think it used maybe the L and R buttons, because the L and R buttons don't have use here. Square, neither the square, neither does triangle. Which makes sense, because it was a Game Boy game first, so like, to port it wouldn't be like, that crazy. In terms of controls. But like, I feel like they could have just had like, the R key hotwired to a map. So you just quickly pull up a map, and like, the L button to like, items or something. That would have been optimal, to say the least. Why did I just run into that? 
God. Okay, I know. I think. Unless I'm thinking of the next stage. Which I could be. Oh, yeah. Nope, it's here. Okay. Rain. Very bad. If you get hit by rain, you. I think it's instantaneously you don't get a smiley face. Because Pina B is not a big fan of rain. So just be careful. It's not like bullet hell rain where you can't dodge it. Like it's it's doable. And that's it. That's all the rain there is. Could you not No, there's I'm pretty sure there's more rain in the game, but That's for the most part of it. Shield. Well I take that. Ah, we didn't find the golden enemy. We gotta go look right now. Oh wait, he's right here! Yeah, this game is, I recall this game being a lot more harsher with, like, enemy placements, like, oh, I gotta go look for the golden enemy, but I've been having fairly good luck with it. <sighs> July 24th. Woo! I hate rain, but I managed to get through it there all right. When I got to rest, I thought about Grandpa. It almost made me cry, but I held back my tears. I don't want to rest. I beat the golden enemy today, and I slowed the enemy's evolution. Awesome! Sweet. So, in the next episode, we'll be doing episodes 14 through 17. And we're entering the Restless Village. Which, if you've kind of noticed at this point, each every three stages is like a given area. I did that on purpose. You can think of them as areas, too. Like, the entire la this episode was for Windy Valley. Then we had Underground Prison for three. Then we had Gloomy Road for three. Then we had Cheer for Flower. For two, but Cozy Forest or Flower, very similar to each other. And now we're doing Restless Village. So, see you then.